oof. Talk about an oof. Naughty Dog is in full damage control mode right now. I've seen all sorts of narratives from game journalists and analysts trying to defend Naughty Dog, defend this corporation, defend Sony, PlayStation as a brand, but um, not a whole lot of it has stuck. And I, I do think overwhelmingly that this shows where The Last of Us Part Two is going to go critically. Absolutely, positively, negatively. People are not going to eat this shit up the way they did with the original. As can, as can be clearly seen in just the backlash, t backlash to this. Overwhelming backlash to this on their own channel. It's uh, it's phenomenal. All right, so let's see what Neil Druckmann has to say about the development of The Last of Us Part Two. Hey guys, as uh, I'm sure you've heard by now, The Last of Us Part Two has a release date of June nineteenth, twenty twenty. But uh, that's not what this video is about. We want. You can tell he's nervous as fuck. Like he is, he is very angst antsy about the reception of this. He is not happy that people that people don't like what he did here. To let you know that we have gone gold. So back in please buy our game. We told you that you know do the state of the world logistics way beyond our control. We had to push the game, which gave us a few extra weeks to polish. And now that we have a release date, we've submitted our gold master. So that means discs are starting to get pressed and the executables being put on the PlayStation Network. And you're going to have... Uh, was that a snore? Our game in just a few He's channeling weeks. DSP. And no one likes to be a moment of celebration. You know, we'd be at the office drink, having a drink, eating cake. Um, but we're all stuck in our homes. And I just want to take this moment to congratulate the team that has pulled off the most ambitious game we've ever made. And I know I've said this before, but <laughs> you won't know to what degree until you get your hands on it and just see the care, the care that has gone into every detail from the level design to the mechanics, just graphically how the game looks, <laughs> what? environments, art direction. Yes, Ellie can jump now. Story, the audio design, the soundtrack. Oh my God, the soundtrack is so amazing that... Even for us who have played this game, we can't even count how many times. We know it inside out. We're still emotionally moved. I just finished a playthrough, and I was crying by the end of it. Oh, no. And oh, no. He was crying. He was crying at his own game. And I'm extremely proud of it. The team is extremely proud of it. And we can't wait to hear what you guys think once you finally play it. Oh, no. Once you finally play it. Oh, you, you, can't, you, can't, uh, you can't judge the game until you finally play it. Just want to say on behalf of everyone at Naughty Dog, we want to say thank you to you guys. You know, you've been very patient waiting for this game for years with us, and you're just a few few weeks away from, from getting it. And a lot of you have sent us very sweet, encouraging messages along the, along that time that have been really helpful as we make this thing. And the last thing I will say is no matter what you've seen or heard or read, <laughs> nothing compares to playing this thing from beginning to end. Uh, oh, yeah! Buy our game! You can't complain until you buy our game! Um, yeah, that, that's the narrative they're kind of going with right here. Oh, you don't have the context, you don't understand the full thing, you don't understand the plot, you don't understand what we've done with these masterfully crafted characters. No, people understand uh, basically everything about it at this point. Uh, I am told that the entire game is available online. Um, I haven't really pff, watched any of it myself. Like, like I said, I am very, very busy, but I, I know it's real. Like, I know the leaks are true. Like, I, I, this is why you're panicking. This is why you're making this video telling you, telling people to please buy our game. No, um, I, I, um, this is what's going to happen. I, I've seen people like uh, Sony fanboys, like Broken Games HD, coming out here and saying, "Oh, The Last of Us Part Two is still a uh, number one on Amazon." Well, that's the normie audience, uh, to put it bluntly. Uh, the normie audience, you know, those that aren't connected to everything that happens online, uh, people who aren't following leaks, uh, normal people, right? Uh, they're not aware of what's going on yet. Like, uh, but when it actually comes out, when it actually releases, 
uh, within a week, you're going to see the backlash start up all over again, uh, possibly even worse, because the game is is out now, and uh, there's going to be no damage control of like, oh, just wait until you actually play it, oh, it makes sense in context, no, uh, once it's out, it's out, and people aren't going to be able to pretend th that this is some ambitious masterpiece, some, uh, the work of an Artur, Neil Druckmann, uh, no, I... I'm seeing this, um, th this is going to be a disaster, like a straight up disaster, I'm, I am not, I am, um, I, I'm not expecting, I'm expecting this to be, uh, to erupt into a major, major controversy, actually, uh, the beginning of the end of Naughty Dog, uh, as it were, um, their credibility, their carefully constructed credibility as, uh, being one of the best developers in the industry, gone the, down the drain because of this decision. I, I hope you're happy, Neil. Uh, uh, you have just sunk one of PlayStation's only video game developers. It's a video game. You gotta play it. 